up y'all welcome back to overly tv this video is actually an episode of cooking with overly tv man right now i got the sea moss i'm ready to make the sea moss gel and sea moss smoothie now i've seen a lot of people you know with different you know sea moss uh smoothies some of them is vegan uh some of them just use i guess like dates and probably like one other fruit me i'm gonna actually mix a bunch of fruits and uh and actually incorporate a little bit of ginger in mine as well but the first thing like i said i was going to do i'm gonna make the sea moss gel but before i get into anything make sure make sure y'all hit that subscribe button I need y'all to subscribe and also hit that post notification bell this way you get notified every time i hit hit y'all with another video actually so uh also make sure you hit that like button uh share share the video comment below and uh just keep on supporting i appreciate all the love and support that i'm getting so far uh, of course y'all see i got the overly tv i don't know if i should do the shirts like this i've been making shirts um from time to time you know going to the mall or whatever but i just really want to try to get a real feel for i guess the merch and see what i like best and what i don't like um also if y'all notice like I'll sometimes switch hand to hand to hold the camera because, of course, I don't have a cameraman. But, uh, yeah, my arm gets tired from just holding it in one angle. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, let's get into this. Uh, so, first thing you got to do is, of course, you got to get your sea moss. See, now I got the perp. Now, I got the purple sea moss, which is way more beneficial, actually, than the regular Irish Jamaican moss. Um, if you need to look up, you know, all of the benefits from sea moss, please do so. Uh, I was going to incorporate that into this video, but, you know, the most that I, I look for was is that um, it helps with inflammatory, uh, it helps with uh, boost energy. Uh, it's like 92 or I think it's like 92 or like 96 minerals, you know, that the body actually needs. So... I feel as though it's very beneficial for me. Uh, it helps with weight loss. It helps with skin, um, clearing up your skin, your uh, your hair. You can use it. You can use the gel as a shampoo. You can basically wash with it. Uh, everything. Use it as a face mask. I probably will use it as a face mask. You know, for exfoliation, just to you know keep my skin clear. But the place I got it from, uh, I went to make sure y'all get that Vital Vegan. Um, it's actually a new a new spot out in uh, North Jersey that they got and you know I looked them up and I <laughs> I went on and just ordered it. I also got the uh sour sop tea from there. Y'all can see that. Sour sop tea leaves. Um they actually have great benefits from sour sop tea leaves um as well. It's better than just regular tea bag, so yeah. I'm just trying, like I said, be on my health kick. I want y'all to be healthy. Uh, I want everybody to be healthy. You know, health is wealth. So, like I said, let's get into the video. So, we got the sea moss. Now, I've been soaking my sea moss for almost probably like two days. You're really only supposed to soak it overnight. Um, some people do five to six hours. It's, it depends on you. So, I've been soaking it, you know, way longer. Because if you guys know me, if you're real fans of me, um, or if you just knew, uh, I try to post as much as possible, but of course around this time, you feel me, you've got common colds and that's why I'm getting on my health kit, trying to stop getting these, you know, common colds and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, but also before I make the gel, cause, uh, usually I want to make the gel first and then I can store it, of course, in this mason jar right here. I grabbed this from Walmart. Um, yeah, before I'm after I make the gel. Now, one thing I want to say about the gel, uh, they say if you add more water, it gets watery. You want it to be more of like a gel-like substance, so you don't need to actually add that much water to it. I'm excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of burping and trying to talk, which is disgusting. So, but after the gel, of course, I wanted to make a smoothie, so I went to the produce junction, like I guys told you in the previous video. You seen all of if you watched the, the last video, you guys have saw all of the fruit that I grabbed from the produce junction. If not, uh, go back to that video <laughs> and watch every watch everything that I grabbed from the produce junction. And, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be putting in the 
my purple sea moss smoothie. So right here, I didn't cut up. I already washed off, cut up the strawberries. I got kiwi, um, blueberry. I rinsed everything off. That's why I in these bowls. Raspberries. I got ginger root. Now this right here, I'm going to tell you all this. One thing about ginger root. <laughs> one thing about ginger root. This is probably the most difficult thing <laughs> to try to, I guess, get the like exterior off to get it to look like this. But I mean, I could smell it like it's strong. So if I wanted to do like a ginger shot or something, I could always just do that. I'll just probably cut it up. You know, I don't have a juicer, so and I don't probably plan on getting one. So yeah, but I got ginger root also, and then also over here, I got mint leaf. So. I'm gonna see how all of this tastes. I'm not sure how it's gonna taste. I never had all of these. Um, I never had all of these ingredients all put together in one like smoothie. So I'm curious to see how it tastes for real. So, like I said, first thing we're gonna do is make this gel. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all. So like I said in the last clip, obviously uh, about to prepare this this purple um, purple sea moss gel. So what you want to do is, now it's going to be difficult for me to try to do this all with, you know, one hand. What you want to do is, okay, that's been soaking. So you want to just, you know, let that water drain off of there. Now, one thing I have been seeing people do is a lot of people actually save this water and drink it i don't i'm not sure i'm gonna do all that now there's a lot of of course minerals in this water because this has been soaking in it i don't know i'm just not a fan of this this texture of water so uh, let me see is that everything try to get it all out the bottom okay so just pour a little bit of this in here. Don't swirl that around. Let's see, that, yeah. Now, that doesn't look like much water, so what we're going to do is. see how this turns out hopefully it comes out like a gel and not super watery <laughs> so all right let me set y'all down real quick put this top on So I need more water. Which is cool. Let's try this again.
Alright y'all, so as y'all could probably tell, I was getting a little discouraged, but that's just a life lesson in itself, you feel me? Just cause something not going your way, don't just give up and quit. So, I actually went back and looked at the video, and it's okay for the purple sea moss not to blend that well, because the purple sea moss is not as um, thick as the original Irish moss. So, this texture of it is actually okay to use uh mainly i guess for the smoothies now if you wanted to use it for a gel i'm not sure how great that could be for this type of sea moss but probably for the other one like like i said the original like the, the regular like handcrafted irish irish moss so for this one obviously i'm gonna just have to use a smoothie which is fine there's nothing wrong with that um but yeah uh probably could add a little bit more water um I saved some of the water actually. So let me just blend it up. Blend it up a little more. see how that y'all see how that ended um not bad though yes my hands are clean for y'all who don't think I, I wash my hands before this I ain't spilled nothing in there but for those of you who couldn't get a close look this is what it looks like uh let's not focus in there it go this is what it looks like um it don't smell bad for real. Really don't. So I'm gonna pour that back in there. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add in this fruit, see what happens. See, that's what I'm saying. I ain't, ain't want to make all of that, but it is what it is. Up. Uh, got the kiwi here. Got the regular strawberries. I mean, sitting here with the with the blueberries you mean now I'm gonna save some of this fruit because if this don't turn out good I'm gonna just make a regular fruit smoothie let me see mm, I should just do this like this nah like a little small little grater that I could like grade the the uh, the ginger on so I'm gonna just cut it up mm, that should be enough mm. and then add a little bit of this mint leaf that should be cool Now, like I said, if this is nasty, I ain't gonna be upset. <clears throat>
that smell good for real. Actually, I was thinking I should add a banana. It'll probably make um, make this smoothie a little thicker. So. Let me see, let me see, let me see. y'all so if y'all could tell or see the look on my face like it, it, it was disgusting like not even gonna lie to y'all but i honestly think it's because it's the power somewhat could be the power of this blender that we have so i'm gonna have to just invest in i guess like a stronger blender so because it might be that because i did a regular fruit smoothie and as y'all could see like well if you could see a little bit it's still like particles you can see particles of the fruit on the side and when you make a smoothie it's really it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be just <laughs> smooth <laughs> for real so um it might be the blender so i mean it's not a big deal uh like i said i'll go out and probably look for another blender or something like that and uh, see what happens but I'm not gonna waste this one. I'm gonna just drink this. Yeah, I poured the sea moss one out. I know nobody was drinking that. So, um, yeah, it might not be the, like I said, it might not be the, the sea moss. It, it's probably just, like I said, how I prepared it with this blender. Probably something on my end, which is fine. It's trial and error. You feel me? It's my first time doing this. So, um, but yeah, that's just, I guess, how the cookie crumbles, if you want, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. But, um, I can't even get a full review on the CMOS. I just, you know, I read about it. I read the uh, the benefits of it. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to just keep on trying, I guess. Uh, like I said, try to find another blender. Um, and, you know, purchase another blender, see if it's the blender. If not, then it might be something I'm doing on my end. It might be too much, too much water I'm adding or something. I don't know. Then again, like I said, I'm going to try the other CMOS and see if I can you know make that one into a gel like substance so yeah just stay tuned uh thank y'all for watching this i guess this trial <laughs> of a of a seamall smoothie um like i said i'm not discouraging nothing i'm a little like a little upset because i thought it was gonna go totally different in my head <laughs> but like i said trial and error uh it's not gonna defeat me i'm definitely gonna try this again and i'll uh, be back with another video but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all um, turn on post notifications. Leave a like, comment, share. And yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to keep on trying, man. Like you should do with everything else in life. Just keep on trying. If it don't work out the first time, man, it's not the end of the world. You might get discouraged. You might get upset. You might try to point the finger and blame. But 
just keep on pushing, keep on trying. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Make sure y'all have a blessed day. Make sure y'all have a great day. And make sure y'all smile today, man. And tell your loved ones, of course. Tell your loved ones that you love and care about them. So. Just be prepared for the next video. I'm not sure what kind of video it's going to be. Uh, I'm not sure what the next chapter <laughs> in YouTube for me is going to be. But just stay tuned. Love. We can get it. We can get it. Money got us back into the ceiling. I'm winning.